some training on everything when we get out there on the grounds. Um, we're just going to go ahead and start up above maybe about a half mile and wait for the tide to kind of calm down. It's pretty rough right now, um, so we're just going to, you know, as far as the flow going out, and the fishing will start getting good about 8.30 or so. Um, yeah, so let's go out there and have some fun with this one. So when you're when the when the when the fish goes underneath the boat, if it's a bigger fish, you always want to you want to dip the rod in the water. You, know, you don't want to be lifting up like this, because that arc will that that will snap the rod very quickly. first, then the middle rods, then the front rods, and um, the bigger number that I give you is the back, the smaller is the middle, and the smallest is the front. That's the front of the boat, this is the back of the boat. So right now we're in 37 feet of water, so we're going to do 45, 35, 25 starting out. So we're going to start with 45 feet on these back rods, and these are going to be, um, we're going to start out with a couple of anchovies out there, because that seems to be more productive in the morning. And then once uh, the day progresses, we'll switch these over to the spinners that are green. Has a banana yeah, board. Yeah, it's on a yellow two, boat. Two hits so far on your rod. Is it a keeper? It's a keeper? <gasps> Congratulations! You threw away your banana, look what you got. Keeper? Yeah. No way. 
That's big. How can you tell? Oh, is it clipped from the bottom? Uh, the Anna, she doesn't have this fin. That's how you know? Okay. Yeah, they cut it off and it has okay. all the wild fish will have that Anna pose. Great job! How does it feel? Uh, yeah, that was 35. How did it feel? Was it awesome? Awesome! <laughs> nice job. That's what I was waiting for. shot to fish by the bridge. serene here. Sad it's coming to the end. Bathroom break. Literally perfection. Parking this big only. Everything comes to us. Yeah. Sometimes we just get them in the water and we look at it. Did you kill anything yet? Killed two. Oh, that lost okay. two. Well, that was a good fish. Yeah. You can kill them. I lost. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks, dude. Oh, well, you've got a beautiful ride, my friend. Dude, it's a comfortable way to move. So when's the next tuna trip? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> I've been talking to Jesus lately. I'll tell you what, he's not helping me out. Well, why it's not? Because the ocean's what, like four and seven, five and nines? Oh, that's easy. Come on. Yeah, no big deal. Just be like, just be like Barksdale and just go for it. Just send it. with Kevin. Kevin is awesome. He knows this boat. He's definitely a commander in charge. This boat is built like a tank. Seats are very comfortable. She has more action than I've seen anybody on the charters so far. Extra hour just so I could try to catch a fish, but no luck. 
so perfectly. I've never seen you do this without help. Fishingwithkevin.com. It's a gorgeous boat. It's so comfortable. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah. What would you recommend him to other people? Oh, yeah. What did you like about him? He's more personal than a lot of people that I come across. Everybody's going home. Some people got lucky and caught fish. Some people left with nothing. Like me. Until our next adventure. The salmon lives another day. Thanks for a great trip. Awesome. See you later. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Bye. Take care. You too.